Hello guys, it's Ramos here bringing you Ivern, he's finally revealed and I was kind of right, he has a root ability and he can create bushes, so we were right from that trailer they released and he looks pretty damn funny and it's quite amazing, we're going to check out his abilities really soon but first let's see what he's saying and what his emotes are doing. All life is precious, yes, even yours. Be grateful for the breeze and the grass beneath your feet. That's a nice dance, my friend. <laughs> he looks nice. I really like his aesthetics. And pretty good textures. <laughs> <laughs> and those mushrooms around him. So let's do the recall as well and then we're going to check the jungle. So as I said in the preview and first time I saw him, yep, he will not kill jungle monsters and I got smite just in case to see if that works and that doesn't work either so we're going to go in the jungle right now and explain his abilities one by one. Alright, so apart for the dragon and the baron he won't attack other minions so that's his passive, he's a friend of the forest, so not of the jungle as some said, he's friend of the forest. And will not attack non-epic monsters, but clicking on a jungle monster creates a grove which grows over 40 seconds and each grove costs some health and some mana, so that costs you health and mana so you don't uh, instantly get them without any risks. And when the grove is completed, you free the monsters so they go away and they give you the gold and the experience you would get if you would kill them with another champion. And if you smite a grove, instantly free the monster. So let's see if that works and I can just use it on the blue to instantly get it. As you can see, they appear with a blue bar so they don't appear as enemies. And if I click this blue buff over here, I start this friend of the forest thingy, I lose some health and then after it's done, it will be mine. But let's see if I smite him you instantly get him, so that's pretty amazing, That that's really cool, you can get your blue buff instantly, so not bad at all, and if not, you can just click him and wait for it to happen, and it seems to be lowering each time you level up, or maybe, yeah, each time you level up it's probably lowering, but can you go away? Probably you can go away as well, um, I mean, I wonder if you can have multiple groves at a time, we're going to check that out as well, but let's first see what happens when it fully completes, so you can see that circle there and how it nicely it grows around, so pretty damn cool. And apart from that, at level 5 and higher, if you free a buff monster, an extra buff is created for Ivern's allies. If an ally kills a buff monster, a buff is left for Ivern. So you can have them for others as well, so it's not only for you. Well, it's completed. And now you go in, you free him, and you receive that. So you can probably do it for more. You can go to the jungle and select them, and then you return and free them, because you don't instantly get them. So I go here, I do this for this one, and then I go to those guys as well. And to the red buff, and I can smite it. So this is pretty damn amazing for the clear. You have a nice speed here, except if you don't die from your health. But you can just go here and there, and you still have enough health for another one, so let's do it for the red buff as well. And we're going to smite this one to get it instantly. There you go, and now it lowered by 2 seconds again, and those are charging, so you can go back to that one and take it, so you can go through all of them, activate them, and then go back and release them. So that's pretty damn nice. See, this one is over, you click it, and you receive the stuff. And then you go for the next one, which is also done. And you receive it as well, really amazing mechanic, kind of close to what I speculated. I thought it was going to be something like this, you get them for free and don't kill them. The possibility of them being your pets was also available, but you still have a pet from the ultimate, you will see that as well. Alright, so pretty interesting, let's see what happens with the... with this guy over here, if something is special. So it's the same thing, you stuck him there, and yeah, it loads or you can smite him and you get him instantly. He died though, I mean he went underwater, so not good, not good my friend. Alright, and now let's check out his abilities, because that passive is pretty much the most interesting thing, except for the bushes. So the Q, as I said, creates that thing that roots the first target you hit, and if you have an ally, 
he can leap to it. So allies can click on rooted enemies to dash into that range. So he deals magic damage to his AP. And his W, he can create bushes and I have 3 stacks at the moment. So in bush, your range becomes, your, your attacks become ranged and they deal bonus magic damage. And you grow a pet of brush for 30 seconds, for 3 seconds the area in and around the brush is revealed so you don't instantly become invisible. But it looks nice, so there you go, that's how you create it. And you go inside it and your attacks turn to range, so they go like that and you can see that bar over there with red so you know where your range ends. By maxing this you increase the damage and the brush recharge, you also reduce that. And here you increase the root duration, the damage and reduce the cooldown. And here you increase the shield damage and reduce the cooldown. So I don't know what you max, let's max the Q. So you can create multiples, you can just make a place like this so uh, it's invisible for the enemies. If they have something you can cut out their vision or you can create a nice triangle and be surrounded in it. Or you can increase the other brushes. So this is a really amazing mechanic, I really like it a lot. Pretty damn cool. Still, can you know when it's going invisible? Or you have to count? I'm not sure about that, but pretty damn nice. Alright, let's check out the E as well. So the E shields an ally, absorbing some damage, and after 2 seconds the shield bursts, dealing damage and slowing enemies for 70%. And for 3 seconds. So let's try it on ourselves. We do that. And then boom! Alright! Not bad at all. And the ultimate, we're going to check it out as well. Let's go and uh, instantly take some jungle as well. <laughs> Man, his clear time should be pretty damn amazing. I mean, you can just go to all the jungle, get it ready and then smite it. Smite two of them and instantly get them. <laughs> I like this. I like that a lot. Alright, and his ultimate, let's go for this poor Miss Fortune here, unless Zyra kills her. And she kills her. Alright, then let's go and steal some more jungle until we check the ultimate. So you summon a sentinel friend Daisy, that's similar to the blue buff. Let's take this blue buff here, by the way. Really nice. See, and you also have that buff for allies. So that's the thing at after level 5. If you free a buff, an extra buff is created for Ivern's allies and they can come and take it. Your allies can come, click it and they receive the buff as well. And if an ally kills a buff monster, a buff is left for Ivern. So if your mid laner comes and kills your blue, you still have that left for you and you can go and click it and take it. So that's also pretty damn amazing. Do not linger here. But I really like this thing, you can just go and do this for multiple ones and then you can just fly away. I wonder if they let you if you are below, let's try and die from this. Let's see if you can die from this or not. Because <laughs> that would be interesting. Probably not, but still. I mean, if you have lower than the health needed, we need two more. Uh, probably they won't let you cast it. <laughs> Weird that he can attack the dragon. Yeah, he, he's too big for him. He doesn't like the dragon. Alright, one more. Let's just put some bushes here and see how they stuck. <laughs> really nice. Oh, it's that circle around them that says uh, when they go invisible. <laughs> really nice, you can just create bushes wherever you want. Alright, so let's see what happens. Yep, it recharges, it's on cooldown, so I cannot do anything. <laughs> I like how he leans towards them. Alright, so we'll go and we'll check the ultimate. Alright, so let's see how this guy works. So Daisy, I mean a girl. Uh, attacks the same champion three times in a row, she will create a shockwave knocking enemies up to one second, three second cooldown and Daisy gains additional damage and defenses based on Ivern's ability power, so you also increase that with ability power. So for the build, oh and also the normal bushes work and they make you go ranged, so that's also nice. Don't attack me my pretty girl. And for the build, they recommend going with Roll of Ages, that makes sense, going with the Runic Echoes over here, some ages for some bonus resistances, that's nice as well, and then some more AP if you want. And the boots are for the cooldown reduction. Right, that makes sense. <laughs> and you can just make another bush here and you can just go through them all. Nice. Eh, we'll wait for her to return. Oh, and if you were wondering, you cannot use the smites directly. You need to have them... Uh, 
on the groove to be able to do that, but it quite reduced it. It's now only 28 seconds, but it takes quite a lot of health. But still, you can do this and get your health back, and then you also heal from the red, and you can see that red bar over here. Living for an a ally. Often turns into a bird's eye view. Okay. Um, please, Zyra, get out of here and let me call my friend Daisy. So there you go. There's Daisy. Come on, Daisy, hit her three times. Oh, that's the shockwave. All right, pretty nice. And you can move there, move her around uh, like you would move Annie's T-birds. And she has some time, so she will leave after that or when she dies. Doesn't say here how many seconds, but you can just move her wherever you want to. Still, she gets away after some time. <laughs> you can even hide her in there. That's nice. And you have that bar over there, so you probably cannot take her too far away from him. But the tower will kill her, so I don't want that to happen. I want to see how she goes away freely without dying. As you can see, it's already on red. So, she won't be here for too long. And her health seems to regenerate. That's also nice. Oh, I activated this guy earlier. There you go. And now she will go away. Goodbye, my friend Daisy. Oh, she dances with you. <laughs> she waves and leaves. Awesome. I really like this champion. Very peaceful guy. Very, very peaceful guy. Look how nice the effects are and everything. And the possibilities with the bushes. Oh my god. You can do really nice comps around that. Alright. Well, that's it for this guy. I hope you enjoyed. I really like him. Leave a like, comment and subscribe for more if you enjoyed the video and if you thought this was informative. It does remind me of the battle for me the alert the uh, end creating things where you summon the ends like from one of the games. <laughs> really awesome. Alright. Where do they go? You free them, but where do they go? I think it's lying. It's actually I'm killing them. <laughs> Alright. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon. Check out my other videos and check out my ultimate Akali guide. And bye bye. Life is filled with life.